nice. It's on this side. We can put a mask on. Make it look fun. Okay. So we are live at the barber shop right now. Yes, we are. It's getting ready to get real. In, in two seconds. <laughs> Nails it off. So we're getting ready to, uh, I guess, ask some questions. So they say they're telling our followers to join. Do we have followers? <laughs> Followers, not, not yet, not yet. We're working. <laughs> we're working on the followers. They're spreading the word that we're live. It may take a minute. So this is conversations with four thinking chicks. We were at the barber shop and we decided that we should just all oh, hold. Am I supposed to help? I don't know. No. You can just switch it over. Yeah, switch it over. Switch it over. Okay. Oh, I didn't say I want to be on camera. I don't know how you flipped it. Oh, there it is. I didn't say okay. Alright, so the topic that we are going to ask is well rounded. <laughs> um, why is it hard to communicate the truth um, to a significant other that you may be involved with? Um, and we're going to start the conversation off with that. So, first person. <laughs> In my mind, <laughs> Kurt. Okay, so we got a question for you. We're starting. Go ahead. All right. The question is, why is it so hard? And this is for anybody that wants to chime in. Um, for men to be honest with women, their significant other that they're involved with. Why is it so hard to be honest? Anyway, what's key? No, no, no. Simple fact: women don't like to hear the truth. What do you they, mean? No, they don't know. They can accept it. They just don't want to hear the truth. Because the truth is going to hurt you. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? 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 I want to know the honest truth. So why do you all get the the control? Why do you have the control or the power to be able to decide what's, what I can handle and what I can't handle? Because we want oh, that's a good control. question. We don't have that. You give it to us. There it is. You show us you can't that's handle the truth. That's the same reason when a woman lies to us, y'all lie because y'all want to maintain control or the advantage in the relationship or the argument at hand. This sounds Nobody don't, 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 don't want to readily uh, yeah, relinquish really really power. power. And so all it's all about it, power and control. Have, That's what it is, just it power and control? It ain't all about that, just 90%. <laughs> <laughs> not all. So 10% is not. So yeah. what's the 10%? I got a scenario, right? Listen, most, most people, and I know just for me, most people don't want to walk around bearing the burden of truth all the time. It's like, even when you tell somebody the truth, it's like, okay, I got this shit out. But now it's like, okay, damn, I got to deal with all the backlash from that truth, though. And, and, and a lot of times, like, I know for me, I'm just speaking for me and speaking for them, but the burden of truth sometimes, it, it's like, that shit like a whole other form of stress. Because it's like, I got it off my chest or whatever, she know, or I told her, but now I got to deal with times where uh, we might be having a conversation and she might bring up that truth that I told her three months ago, even though it ain't pertaining to this or don't matter, it's just, we got to constantly deal with backlash of that. And that's like an earthquake that's never ending. You always get in a, a whole nother with it, an aftershock. We'll be getting aftershocks two and three years down the road. Mm -hmm. so, so, the okay. Okay. So, yeah, until it's over with. Because I, I see a lot of people who dealt with that. I even dealt with that in relationships in the past. So I'm like, damn, I'm dealing with the aftershocks in my truth six years down the road and they ain't even have shit to do with her. So what happens when your, your lie is found out? Isn't it the same? So is it because it's immediate, where you don't have to deal with the consequences look, of your life? Hey, some people cop please, some people take their charge, and some people try to pass it off to others. I'm one of the ones, I take my charge. When I'm found out, I'm caught, you deal with it how you deal with it. But I ain't going to let you just beat me across the head with that shit either. So is, is that not a burden once you found out? Is that not the nah, same it's burden? it's when you're telling on yourself. Because if I'm doing, I ain't going to do no time for telling on myself. What is your uh, scenario? What's my scenario? Yes. He got a cousin. My thing is, how do I check? 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 How do I check?
why did you do that? And he brutally honest and said, because you don't fulfill my needs. But well, why not have that? That's going to bother you for the rest of your life, for the duration of why you with him. And like he said, two years later, am I enough for you? You're going to have all, you're going to drill the man with these questions all the time. Why, but why before you cheat, why not communicate? Let's see, that's the thing. I'm not going to cheat. You know what I'm saying? Cheating is when you being dishonest. If I tell you the truth that I don't want to just be with one woman and you decide to be with me, then it is what it is. Don't get mad when you see me with another woman. If I don't lie to you, I can never cheat. Everybody getting stabbed. <laughs> cheating and lying is the same thing. So if I don't never lie to you, I can't never cheat on you. If I tell you exactly oh, what I want, you come along with it, be ready for what's to come. Okay. Oh, and the other thing, like you said, we you say you're telling because you ain't fulfilling my needs, it may not be all needs, it might be a particular need. Yeah. The same with women. Y'all yeah. cheat on the dude, y'all have y'all. Listen, listen, I don't do that. We don't want to listen to y'all talk for two hours. I don't do that. Ten hours of work, so y'all to cheat on us because we don't have to listen y'all. And the thing is, what a lot of women do, they create their own world with their thoughts and assumptions. So as soon as a man cheat on you, after that, every every thought and assumption is gonna create your own world, and he always gonna be wrong. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, listen, Linda, listen, listen, Linda, listen. Hold on, hold on. I'm wrong for cheating on you that one time. Your thoughts and assumptions don't make me wrong after that if I'm if I'm loving you how you want to be. Yeah, 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 you want to cheat that one time. How am I going to cheat? That's what I'm saying because of their thoughts right. and assumptions. That, that's not no, necessarily that's not true. the truth. Oh my God. That your thoughts and assumptions are always Listen, like the, the, same re like the same reason it made you cheat the first time, what is going to stop you from cheating again? If because was, maybe I realized that I don't need to cheat on maybe you. You all the woman I need. Oh, oh. <laughs> if, if you show me you all the woman I need, like I'm gonna show you I'm all the man you need. So, so why not, not communicate that like before you life. cheat? Why not tell me That's what, what I it is? Just said. But you said that you cheated already. So then you come back and say, maybe now yeah, you're all the woman that I need too. and I won't cheat again. Yeah. Why, why not communicate before you cheat? What it is that you're missing from the relationship? Oh, yeah, oh so my God! Don't think you mean nobody perfect. Not everybody think before they act. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'm gonna give you the truth. I don't care how you feel. That way, I'll never cheat on you. How many times you been with a man? You try to express things that he's lacking with, or you need more of, uh -huh. and we just don't get it. Yeah, because y'all just don't listen. Yeah, that's what it is. That's women's favorite thing to say. He don't listen. Listening, say he just ain't capable of getting it, or he just over listening. Like he hears you, but he ain't listening to you. Right. Sort of thing. So, so then you know what I'll do? So what happened? Hold on. What happened what? If, if that's just like a small portion of y'all relationship, and you can deal with everything else, but he can't rectify <laughs> that? Like. Do you what? How you work that, that, I don't, that scenario out? If it's something that I'm lacking from him or that I need from him, that's not small. That's huge, and that's not going to be rectified. So it don't matter Except, what it's in it. No, here. it don't okay. matter. I'm going to have to find somebody else that's going to do what I so need him to do. what if I, you, you, don't, you, that if you one. take a person like me, and I believe that a woman should be desired here like a man should be desired here. Y'all don't even play around. Just because you got a vagina and I got a penis, that don't make you too different when it comes to our thought process, right? <laughs> when when is Like say if a woman is younger than a man and her thought process not up to par with his thought right. process because they ain't experienced the same. It's true. Or even we can be the same age and our experiences are different. It's true. Yeah. Both people got to be patient and understand that a man got to understand a woman's ways and a woman got to understand a man's ways. And y'all ways are the same. God's way. You okay. just got to think. With so what I God have gave a question though, but if you go into a relationship, for a minute. <laughs> give me a second. I is monogamy a part of that relationship? If you agree for it, then so, so you have to ask for it. So whatever you make. Oh, there's so you have to ask for it. Yeah. yeah. Just like I made a post, I am. Those are two best words anybody can say. When you say I am, whatever you put after that, that's just what you might be. You know what I'm saying? That's just what you might be when you say I am. When I say I am, if I say I am your man, then I got to be your man. If I don't say I am your man, then I'm not your man. So if it don't come out your mouth that you are my man, and you are my man. If we don't agree on it together that I'm going to be faithful to you or that we're going to be in a monogamous don't expect me. 
So we have to communicate that. That we are exactly. Everybody you can't just assume exactly. that you over here 24-7. Also, it depends on how you go into the relationship from the beginning. No. That's what I'm saying. What do you mean? Because, I mean, say what, you met at the club and... You know, the one night yeah, stand, right or you know, you met at the club right. and it might right. turn to a, a marriage. It depends on how you met, you know, what y'all talk yeah. discussed before that. Yeah, that's you know, what are we saying. friends, yeah, okay. or we, you know, but, you fuck know, buddies, some, or whatever. Some, sometimes you know what I mean? always discuss. Uh, I seen a uh, post yeah. the other day uh, that Flies put up about that. Uh, he was just like, Look, man. Say you can't go changing the rules after about a month or two. Like you start of the all plugging, then you like, oh, I want more. I want a relationship. He was like, no, nah, that shit they're against the rules. Like you're breaking the law. Like, but everybody don't just openly express that. Cause I know some dudes who be like, it don't have to be spoken. But if they sleeping with you every week and they uh, feed you, yeah, doing shit for you, like you my woman. What I said, you should have not. Like if they be talking to another man, they might snap on you. So, and it's like, you might be looking at it like, what, we've been kicking this for three weeks. You ain't never say nothing about it, you know? And so people got to open their mouth, basically. Got, okay. Yeah, communication. So, that's what we were asking. You what you want. A closed mouth don't get fixed. You don't tell me exactly what you want. I'm not going to waste my brain power to assume. Exactly. Don't expect a man or a woman to waste their brain power to assume what you want. I can't read your mind. I can guess certain things because I am you and you and me. You're a reflection of me. We want the same kind of happiness. All right, but so not everybody want to be monogamous. Okay. <laughs> So if we have been kicking it, we'll say for a month, and no one has ever communicated that we are together, but we spent all our time together, and we do things that boyfriend and girlfriends do for each other and with each other, is it still, or is it necessary for it to be communicated, or is it too late for me to say oh, I want you to be right next? Yeah, but it's got to be communicated. It's got to be communicated. Then a man coming in thinking, okay, I got the right to her and her. Because she ain't never told me exactly. she wanted to be with just me. You know what I mean? So I don't know that. Exactly. You know? Give me a camera. Uh, we can't, that's what, that's what we've been doing wrong. It's, it's never too late to communicate. Exactly. You can't create a word with your thoughts and assumptions most, and assume this man just wants you and you don't know most, what he got going people, on. Most people won't communicate because everybody be kind of afraid of what's going to come from that communication on exactly. both sides. True. It's like, we know it, but it's like, I don't want to ruffle no feathers the wrong way, or I don't want to get no expectations up the wrong way. So, yeah, because the truth is yeah. supposed to come from that community. Exactly. Yeah. So, here's yeah. another one with all that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if, if, if we're kick, kicking it, right? If we're kicking it, and you have said to me that I don't want a relationship, right? But then we continue for years <laughs> kicking it. <laughs> and I decide that I do want the relationship. I decide it. Uh -huh. And I say to you, I want us to be together. And you say, no, I still don't want to be together. Why still be involved when you know now that I want to be together? You should leave because you should sell. All right, it's true, it's true, true. But then, listen, listen. Yeah. You let it go for years, that means that's where we are. Yeah. It's where we do. We keep so it like this. you all don't bear any responsibility in that? To no. leave the woman alone because now uh, she's vested. Yeah, I can't bear no responsibility if you if you gonna keep coming back. Said, well, we, hey, yeah, as long as you was standing there in those two years, y'all were together and like, embraced it. Like, 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 what kind of what kind of man? He said, why would you stop? Why? Oh my God! Why you leave me alone? Y'all got to talk. I mean, I, as a leader of a company or organization, and you're hiring somebody, you should know what your employee uh, needs or what, what it is that they're going to need in order to be efficient and successful in your job. I don't have to give you a break. I understand you got to communicate these kind of things, right? Gotcha. Now, if a year goes by, you still know what he wants, because he never came to you and said, all right, this is what I want. So it's all about him saying. Women more susceptible to crack. Like, like, yeah, like yeah, your, your mama and your grandma used to say, if you can't get a man the milk for free, it'll make you think you're going to talk about it. I just have one thing. You teach people how to treat you. Yeah. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. You teach people how to treat you. So whether it's communicated or not, you already set the expectations. Well, you have to set the expectations up front. Listen. I don't want drama. This is what I'm looking for. Is this what you want? 
And that's it. And if that person, either he or she can't say, you know, I understand, or then maybe you should even try to test the waters or anything at all. Period. Yeah. 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 the first thing women need to understand is that you can't change your Exactly. Heard that, buddy. You have to teach people how to If you don't stand for something, you're going to fall for anything. I've been in relationships where I used to approach them like, ain't teach people how I wanted to be treated. I kind of went off with like, well, I'm going to let her decide what I like. I'm going to go off of what she's doing. If I like it, I'm going to roll with it. If not, then, but it? never just had like a strong stance on like what I wanted or didn't want or wouldn't allow or what I was saying. Learned a lot. Like what I've heard, but I've learned a lot. <laughs> what didn't you like? Nothing. I've learned a lot. I didn't like it, but I learned. I'm going to tell you too, at the end of the day, nobody, everybody really scared or afraid of ending up with the short end of the stick. So it's going to be a lot of reservations on both male and female when it comes to approaching a relationship. It's like, it ain't like, like you said, like getting hired for a job. People can lie on their resume. You can have credentials that you really don't even qualify for. Mm -hmm. And... So with a relationship, it's like, you know, um, it's like the woman might be like, well, I ain't going to get this dude my all because just in case. And the dude like might be like, well, shit, I mean, I get my all because I might find out something that I don't like or it might just. So everybody kind of scared at this point. We don't live in that era where it's like, look. You in high school be like, look, I love her, I'm taking her to the prom, this is my wife, one of the kids, this is how we roll. Right. We live in an era now where it's just like, you approach the situation like like it's a used car, like, ah, damn, give me the car facts, let me drive it around for a little bit. <laughs> Shit, let me hold it for a month, bro. Let me get a little oh money God. to hold it for a month, let me see, because, shit, I might, you drive it off, it's as is, ain't no warranty on it, but... As soon as you drive off, three weeks might be good in that thing. You know, it's like, God damn, I'm so bad. It's got this shot like this, man. You feel me? Epsilon went bad. That's the kind of relationship you're working through. I've seen women approach relationships like that. Like, man, I thought I had something. He had this going, that going, that thing. It's true. I'm like, I ain't know this man's no problem. Why you ain't telling me that? Like, But that might what he do on his off time. But you know, that's one of the things we don't see coming when it comes to relationships. Man, I'm trying to be in the relationship and yeah. so called in love. All right, bro. Yeah. All right. So, if that's the situation, do you. I guess that's when y'all cheat, if that's the situation. You're too deep no, in no, it. Not necessarily. Some men cheat just because they can't help it. It's this. Yeah, yeah. 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 What you mean? All, what you all, mean? All, in all honesty. I 
Wait, wait, wait. Nobody's been in love? Who's been in love? And you probably been in so many relationships. Huh? And said you probably have been in so many relationships. I'm gonna tell you something. Even in marriage, even in marriage, you will always, even in marriage, there are times when you may look at the person and go, I can't stand you. But you may not be in love at that moment. But do you love that person? But it, it, so that's it, it depends you, on what you say after you can't stand. But that's what I'm saying. But <laughs> that's why you have to have trust and yeah, yeah. Who respect for that off? person. At some point in time in a relationship, you're going to say you can't stand someone. Yes. But if you I don't say I still can't live without that person at the end of that, that's what I'm then saying. you might not be in love. There and then, you, you know, everybody's definition and, and, and version of love is different. Because I don't have a woman tell me she loved the ground I walk on. And at the end of the day, I was like, hey, don't wow. love me like that. Too much. I don't like how you love me because yeah. how you might like kill me if I don't get that love back to you. I don't get that love back to me. 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 I'm like, I don't want that type of love. No. So no. can can you define how somebody loves you? Can you tell them how to love you? No. But you can walk away from it. But I know it kind of loves you. I don't want to accept the woman who loves me like that. Have you ever thought of your emotions? And you can't emotion. So if you love me, you can't emotions and play your love to your emotions. As soon as you get mad, you're going to act mad. As soon as you get sad, that shit might turn to anger and you still act mad. So if you love me with understanding, that means you'll be patient. Gotcha. Because I was like, how can one love somebody with you? I understand. Put it on Facebook. Love me. Yeah, comment on that. Love me. Is there a question? So, this is. Is there a question? I told you, man, you're not going to take my auntie name away from me, man. So, that's different. So, and that, I guess that aspect, I've never loved my auntie name. I have a love of understanding. I have love with emotion. Ooh, that's this random okay. question. Do y'all feel like all women are emotional creatures? Yes. Did God create, create you or did emotions create you? God. So you're a child of God, not a child of emotions. Mm. You were given emotions just like when Eve bit the apple, that's what emotions was. You got the knowledge of right and wrong. Mm. Free, mm. Or free. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so if you can't be, if, if you can tell me one decision that emotions have made for you and it turned out good. Did not change my way of life. Yeah, boy, because emotions will get you in trouble. Giving birth to my child. I said, are you an emotional creature? Now you say you're an intellectual and an emotional creature. Well, why, why, why have you can be both. Be you are both, but you're an intellectual creature with emotions. You're supposed to always think with your intellect. As soon as you don't think with your intellect, that's what's right. Get over on your tail and put your thirst. This is I'm serious, bro. If you think with your emotions, you're going to think Gator Ray really in you. You understand me? If you think with your emotions, a man can do whatever he wants. Because you already know what you need to do. Yeah, but you know you stay in it. You keep it up there. Years and years and years. You touch the stove and it's hot and it burns your fingers. And you don't think with your intellect, chances are you're going to go test out how that stove again. Just like when that man treating you like shit and you give him a second chance, <laughs> and you go right back and let him treat you like shit again. Get him, Zane. Because you think you're an emotional creature. You're not an emotional Get creature. Him, okay, so how the hell did you turn your emotions You don't turn them off. You don't turn them off. Somebody you make you mad. You think with your intellect. Exactly. Hey, you you I don't even know what you No, you're not. You're not thinking with your intellect. I'm not saying you're walking around there. You're like a son. You know what I mean? You're just not there. You're always going there. You know how many women have stayed in abusive relationships because of their emotions? Yeah. They feel like you don't love me if you don't hit me. Yeah, but when he hits me, he shows me attention. He loves me. Or that's not how you feel. If you were thinking with your mind, you would get out that shit. 
Honestly, you know what I mean? Honestly, that might be true. Because if you get so mad that you gotta put your hands on, then you don't need to be with him. That means love to a whole world. No, no. You get to the point where you gotta put your hands on. No, I would have been you too. I missed you, man. Oh, I'm okay because I ain't with you, bro. You ain't fitting me because I ain't the bitch. I'm sorry, man. I don't want to be with a woman. I feel like I gotta put my hands on.